What the hell is this? Hey there, I'm Stroke Man, and have you ever had a problem where you're, you connect your monitor to your computer, your Linux computer, and you don't get the right screen resolution, like, it, the screen resolution that it gives you is much lower than what your monitor is capable of, for example, I'm using an HDTV right here, and the highest resolution it's letting me get is 1024 by 768. Well, today I'm going to show you how to basically force your Linux computer to to um, for a custom screen resolution. And what you want to start out to do this, first you need to find out the name of your port. So, in a terminal, you type X Randar and press enter. Now the graphics card that's in my computer has three ports, an HDMI port, a DVI port, and a VGA port. So the name of mine is VGA-0. Now next in the terminal what you want to do is basically generate a profile of some sort for the screen resolution that you want. So to do this, you type CVT. Hold on. A you write CVT, and then the screen resolution that you want. For this monitor or TV, I know that 1824 by 1026 is best, so that's what I'm gonna go with. So I'll do CVT. 1824 by 1026 and press enter now from this open quote you copy that all the way to vsync so this copy it and then in gedit or whatever text editor you're using you're going to be making a startup script so to start it out you do hashtag exclamation point slash bin slash bash press enter and then you type x rand r um, dash dash new mode and then you copy what you just pasted or paste what you just copied And then you write X Rand R um, dash dash add mode. Then you type the name of your port, so VGA dash zero, and then you copy this, and you paste it down here. And then the final line is x randar dash dash output. You just spell output, right? VGA dash zero or whatever your thing is called. And then you dash dash mode. And then you paste again the name. And this is done now. So you want to save this in your home folder or home directory. You can name it whatever you want, but it has to be a sh file. So I'm going to name it blue. Blue dot sh. So now this is done. And. So this is done now, but um, you need to make it an executable. It can be done through the terminal, but I don't feel like it. So I'll go blue.sh properties permissions and then check allow executing files as program. 
and then you can exit that and exit this and now you need to go to startup applications click on open it and then click on add the name can be anything I'm gonna name it screen res the command this matters you gotta do period forward slash and then the name of the file so let's do blue dot sh and now you click add and there it is right there so you can close this and now it's time to restart your computer and if it was done correctly then it'll be outputting the screen resolution that you want so I'm going to reboot my computer right now and come back and see what happens. Well, there you have it. As you can see, it works. It looked a little scary on the restart. But, um, yeah, it's fine. This is the screen resolution that I wanted. And I'm using the VGA cord. It just did that little weird screen flickers and flashes and things when it started up. But I do need to say one more thing before I go when I had made this before I rebooted I had a few typos like right here I only had one dash there should be two for mode and the only other typos I had was that these I just had these in quotes like up here they the name of I guess the profile they both are not in quotes so that's it and if this helped you like the video if you really like the video please subscribe because I'm just gonna be making more of these and um, have a good day